Let's talk about linear inequalities now. We've been graphing the equations of a lot of different lines. Now let's talk about if it's not an equal sign, but an inequality. That means that instead of looking like this, y equals x plus 1, it's going to be something like this, whereas y is less than x minus 3. As a quick side note, I want to make sure that something is perfectly clear when you're graphing. y equals x plus 1 has an infinite number of solutions. And I went on ahead and I graphed it. And this line represents all of the solutions. So if you look here at this point, it's on 0, 1. So if you put in a 0 for x, 0 plus 1 is 1. You would get 1 equals 1. If you put in a 2 for x, <clears throat> 2 plus 1 is 3. And if you take this up to here, and if you look across to there, the y value is 3. Every single point on this line represents a solution for this. When we deal with inequalities, there are, again, an infinite number of solutions, but it looks different, okay? I could put a point every single place there is a solution. So let's just say I choose the point 10, 0, okay? If I choose the point 10, 0, if I put in a 10 for x, 10 minus 3 is 7. Is 0 less than 7? The answer is yes. So I'd have a dot out here at 10, 0. <clears throat> the other side is, is what if I choose a point, I'm just going to choose 0, 0 as an example. If I choose 0, 0, if I put in a 0 for y and the 0 for x, 0 minus 3 is negative 3. Is 0 smaller than negative 3? Of course not. But the thing is, is this point is out here in the middle of nowhere. <clears throat> We've got some rules for graphing, and I wanted to go over this a little bit first so you can see why we are shading, why we are making solid lines and dashed lines. All right? Let's go ahead and go through the rules, and then we'll talk about it. We've got this one example here y is less than x minus 3. The first thing it says is to graph it as if it is a line. So pretty straightforward. This is in slope intercept form. Notice I didn't put an equal there. That was purposeful. Okay. The m value is the number in front of the x. What number is in front of the x if you don't see one? There's a 1 there. So my slope is 1 over 1, and my b value is negative 3. So I'm going to go to negative 3 and put a dot, and then I'm going to go up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1, just like so. And Scott's going to walk right on through. Say hi, Scott. Hi. Go ahead, keep going. <laughs> okay. Now, and we're just going to graph that as a line. It helps if your line actually hits the points, but that's okay. All right, <clears throat> so now we've got a line there. Step two says make it a, if it's greater than or less than, make it a dashed line. If it's greater than or equal to or less than or equal to, make it a solid line. Since this is just less than, I'm going to make it a dashed line. So it's not a solid line, it's a dashed line there. And step three says, Shade aside using a test point. Now, the test point that I always like to use is 0, 0. So y is less than x minus 3. If I put in 0 and 0, does this make a true statement or a false statement? This makes a false statement. All right? That means that this point is not part of the solution. 0, 0 is not where the shading would be. We earlier did 10, 0. 10, 0 was a true statement, wasn't it? And notice I put a dot there. If it's a false statement, you shade the other side of where it's at. If it's a true statement, you shade on that side. 
Now, let's take a hard look at this. What does this shading represent? This shading represents every single point that's a solution for this inequality. Y is less than X minus 3. The other side are the, where the solutions are not. Now, we made the line dashed, didn't we? What if I choose the point, and if you notice here, it went through the point 3, 0. What if I choose that point? Well, if I put it in, I'm going to have 0 is less than 3 minus 3. What's 3 minus 3? 0. Is 0 less than 0? The answer is no. 0 is equal to 0. So why would we do that? Why would we put a dashed line? The dashed line means that that's the boundary, but the line itself is not included. If it had an equal to sign underneath it, a less than or equal to, it would be a solid line because those solutions are included. I'll have a couple of uh, example problems on the next video where I go through these steps over and over again.